What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you quickly how to connect the Arduino Nano Every to the MPU6050 accelerometer to start getting acceleration readings in real time. It's very simple to do, and we're just gonna get started right away here with this physical connection diagram. So if you have your MPU6050 with soldered headers, all you have to do is simply connect four wires here with I squared C communication, uh, with uh, ground and power here being at the top, so make sure you don't mix those up or else you can fry your sensor. And of course, we have the SCL and SDA pins. As you can see here, this is a regular Arduino Nano, but this does also work with the Arduino Nano Every because it, because it is a flavor of the Arduino Nano. So once you have that in terms of physical connections, let's go into the code setup in the Arduino IDE. Okay, so now we're in the Arduino IDE. I would imagine you're familiar with this. If not, you can just download it from the internet. And once you're in the Arduino IDE, you wanna be able to connect to your Arduino Nano Every. In order to do that, you want to go to the, the boards here, the boards manager, and you want to install Arduino Mega AVR boards and just install that. It's fairly quick and this will allow you to initiate a connection with your Arduino Nano Every, as you could see there. And once you have that, you might have to restore the IDE. And you just wanna to go to the top there and select your Arduino Nano Every, which I already did. So once you have that, you should have communication with the device. And what I have here is an example script from this library, the Adafruit MPU6050 library, which is also very easy to get. We can just go to the library manager in, in the Arduino IDE and search MPU6050. And that should be one of the top libraries, Adafruit MPU6050, which I already downloaded and you should as well. And if that's not showing right away, you may have to restart your IDE. And finally, once that's in, it's really simple to get started with this. If you have your physical connection, as you saw in the previous segment of the video, and your device is plugged in, what you want to do is simply, you can start with a script, and they have really great scripts to start getting values right away. And I just did MP, MPU6050 basic reading script, which is the one I have here. It's actually opening again. I'll just go back to the previous screen, but it will open. And then you can just play with a bunch of settings here. This is the whole script. So you could see we have very simple things to to print to the serial monitor, and we have some initial connections. So actually which, what's interesting with the MP6050 is you can set the certain acceleration ranges and certain gyroscopic ranges depending on your application. So in this case with the base application, they have um, eight Gs. You can, you can go all the way up to 16 Gs or you can go less. The higher you go, the more power it's gonna use and the less accurate it's going to be. So eight Gs is a good medium. And for gyroscope, you can actually go to 200 degrees per second of measurements. And you can also play around with that. And they also have some other um, code here where they're filtering the bandwidth. I haven't played around with that, but it's a really nice example script to get this working off the bat and you really don't have to do anything. And you can just customize this to get the values you want. If you don't want the, the gyro, you can just delete that. And if you don't want acceleration, you can just delete that and so on. And of course you can add other code. And also you can get the temperature out of the MPU 6050. And fun fact about the temperature on the MPU 6050, is actually this is the temperature of the MPU 6050 itself. It's not necessarily ambient temperature, so just keep that in mind. It's not a great measurement of the ambient temperature around the device, so people often get that confused. And once you have that, if everything's good, you can just upload it and make sure you open your serial monitor. So just go here and select serial monitor. You may get this little error here that looks like an error, but it's not necessarily an error. Um, and you just wanna go to your serial monitor and it should be, um, what is going on here? It's not connected. Oh, it is upputting. So now it's so now it's just running. And if you did everything correct, you should be good in terms of your MPU 6050 connection. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If this video did help you, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. And also please, if you want to, you can donate to our channel at Buy Me A Coffee, which is linked at my YouTube channel. That'd be great. And also, if you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching. Take it easy.